The fundamental theorem of the calculus comes in two parts, and oddly enough, we're going to start with part two. It says that if big f of x is the antiderivative of little f of x, and furthermore that f of x is continuous on the interval from a to b, then the integral from a to b of f of x dx is equal to the antiderivative of b minus the antiderivative of a. Let's use this in action. Let's take the integral from 0 to pi of sine of x dx. Well, first of all, we have to figure out what the antiderivative of sine of x is. So we ask ourselves, what derivative gives us sine of x? Well, if the derivative of cosine of x gives us negative sine of x, then we need to find negative cosine of x. Negative cosine of x, when you take the derivative, gives you negative negative sine of x, which is positive sine of x. And so we're going to take this antiderivative here, and first we're going to plug in pi, our b, then we'll subtract off plugging in 0. So this is equal to negative cosine of pi minus negative cosine of 0. Furthermore, cosine of pi is negative 1, negative negative 1 is positive 1, cosine of 0 is positive 1, minus negative is positive 1, so this is 1 plus 1 equals 2. And this is the basic idea behind taking an integral. First, you find the antiderivative of your function. You plug in your b, subtract off, plug in your a.